And we'll find out later tonight when that game would be. Here's a quick slant to Jalen Brooks, who comes in the game. Try to get him involved. Some of those backups, and we get a penalty flag. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness, defense number 13. The city are penalty. First down. That's it, we got it. Yeah, I, I'm not. I mean, I think you clearly heard where, where the Washington players stand on this call. I, I mean, he, he led with his helmet. He just never hit him, frankly. I mean, he just completely missed, and his left shoulder, like, barely grazed the body of of Brooks. I, I, I don't think I don't think they got that one right. Sneak. Oh, I don't know. Again, the guy on the far side is starting out down the line and then inching back behind it, maybe. He wants to football to spot it. He feels like he's got a true mark on it. So the quarterback started here. He runs flying in, and now watch the D-line shoot inside, and a great job. Here is the mark and the spot, oh! and the stretching it out for Carl Cheppers. We don't Kirk. know still. Oh! They got to put it closer to the ball. I think we need Gene Steratore, our resident rules official, who could have a little card. We need the index card, Gene. Gene, bring it out of retirement, will you, please? As Fields keeps it. And slides. Ooh, that's going to be a penalty. Don't see the flag yet. He Fields is shaken up. That was Owens, Jonathan Owens, who delivered the blow. So once once he starts to slide, if Owens is already going before he shows he's going to slide. But right there, that was an interesting no call. I would have probably called that. He still has to be down. The defensive player committed. The shoulder did not contact his head. It contacted his shoulder. So I think they pass on that. And I think it's a good call, fellas. They got him off sides. They did it. It looked like Gary jumped. That's a huge mistake. Up top, did he move? Offside. Number 52 defense unabated to the quarterback. That five-yard penalty results in a first down. Watch the left tackle. Right there. If the defense goes and the tackle goes at the same time, it's on the offense. They missed that call. Being aggressive, you got... Oh, they got something going here. Coach Rogers, the special teams coach, picked the, something up. The shotgun snap to Kyler Murray to the end zone. Open up to make the catch. Trey McBride with the touchdown. And they take the lead, all right, faking at the field goal and scoring six. Oh, my God. Well, watch up here. Gilligan there goes Prater. Prater and Gilligan, the holder and kicker. And then Kyler Murray just takes a shot right there to McBride. Well, and if you saw at the top of the screen, Mark, they didn't exactly sell that they were in the route. The kicker and the putter just stood there. It looks like Coach Carroll's upset because Arizona substituted, so the officials should provide the defense an opportunity to match right. up. And I think that was what he was saying. Also, he might have been trying to call a timeout. Maybe they didn't notice, but there was a substitution. Because Matt Prater ended up on the field, and they didn't give Seattle the opportunity to match up. And Mason Rudolph. There's Kyler Murray. He'll slide down, and then a little contact from Bush, and Murray stays down. And now some jawing. Will Hernandez and Devin Bush in conversation. And you're going to see the slide by Kyler Murray, and in comes number zero, Devin Bush. Kyler Murray clearly giving himself up. Oh, he got twisted up that left knee. Yeah, that knee is what twisted underneath there. As way of the division championship, no longer a wild card. Possibility is Carr completes it to Shahid for 20. And a late flag comes in. Unnecessary roughness, defense, number 34. But they're trying to protect NFL players these days from violent hits. And, well, in my day, we would say that's just a good hit. Wind has picked up along with a little more snow in a lull for a while. And there's a throw for Garrett Wilson. 
Yeah, Peppers came in late with the hit there. And the flag does fly. He said, uh, he's pointing, he's like, hey, I hope he's all right, that's me. And, I'm not sure if this was helmet to helmet, but it definitely looked like it went up to the head of Wilson right there. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's dangerous. Yeah, the head, but he kept his helmet up. He was trying to, trying to stop, obviously, but that's still going to yeah. require a flag and penalty to be assessed. They, they can't judge it by intent. I don't think he really meant to do it. He certainly wasn't standing over him, taunting him. He was apologizing about it, but the rule is the rule. There's no foul. Unnecessary roughness. Defense number five. One-year deal for Schultz, who put up some big numbers in Dallas to give Stroud a tight end that he can throw to. This, for Schultz, incomplete. They got a little bit of a shot. The Colts come with a blitz late. Devin Singletary does an excellent job of picking it up, and, you know, that was, that was a throw that Dalton Schultz will typically make. In a meaningful game like this, and as we move forward into the postseason, that... You know, they, they lost the momentum that they had going in the fifth game of the year. Who I thought was third and two over the middle, <laughs> incomplete triple coverage on Hutchinson. It looked like Hutchinson had a chance. Let's take a look. There's a grab at this is coming out of that route. Sure enough, and that ball was that ball was money, but that was a dangerous attempt on fourth and one, and here it is. It's in Minshew's hand, and a drop by Goodson. Texans make the stop, and they take over up by six. If they played well today in the final weekend of the regular season, first and ten, the run, and a big stop. And Roy Robertson Harris takes a hold of Henry. Series started over seven minutes. The crowd and the Titans looking for a face mask penalty. They showed it in unison. And we see it on the replay. The video tape, tape operators, Bill Grittinger, Sean Sperry, and Dewan Brown and Andre Harris. Thank you. Harris, downhill, grabbed him up near the helmet. I don't see the flag. Like it's a first down yardage. Yeah, that looked like an easy call. You can see Najee jumping up right there going, how did you miss that? We're not bringing in John Perry to talk about that, but he does have an interesting subplot on this nasty weather day, John. <laughs> Only steps up, and ball is rejected. Just batted down to the line of scrimmage by... Big Montrevious Adams. Highsmith is running the hump. Watch left here. Left tackle and McCarry. Keeps his hand up. I don't think he's got it. That's, eh, that's close. Oh. That is close. You see the back. You see the hand on the back. He had some. A hand it just felt there. like he had that hand you know, inside that collar yeah. there as well. Hold on. I mean, it's such a subjective call sure. sometimes with these refs. I mean, it, look, it looks obvious to us. They don't call. O'Connell to throw. And he is less so dropped by Nick Benito. Watch Benito. He went high here. Ooh, man. Close to a face mask there. So he probably hit his face mask with his hand and then got down on his on his uh, upper chest there. So he didn't grip the face mask no in harm, any no way, foul. though. And fourth down this year. Fake the sweep, run it straight ahead. Gibbs slips his way close to a first down. Ivan Pace grabbed him in the backfield, but he finished forward. He's got enough. He's very dynamic. He is very explosive. Watch the patience and the cut right there. It's not a bad job defensively by Minnesota. I mean, they play it well. You can see Ivan Pace there. They had Josh Metellus coming down the other side. See what the chains have to say. Ooh. It is just enough, right? Got to get out the credit card, see if he can fit it between the ball and the stick. I don't know, they're stretching it. That's short. Dude. Now they're saying first down. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Blitz coming on third and six. Picked up. Pressure from behind and another flag in the secondary. 
As Romeo Okwara gets there for the sack. Holding it. Defense number 32. Justin Jefferson is such a great route runner. I mean, spins him one way, spins him the other, gets him inside. Ah, you know what? Even as an offensive player, I don't really like that one all that much. I think that's well done by, by Brian Branch. It's a little bit more of a stumble by Justin Jefferson. Second and goal, the fullback Gilliam in motion. Allen looks towards the, knocks the tight end. Incomplete, no flag, Cater go. the nickel. Let's take a look at just how much contact there was at the point of the catch. More than a little bit. Pulling on the right arm may have been the biggest part of restricting it from going to get it. Tango inside this time and that push and Allen trying to extend it with Rickon Davis hanging on him. Had to get to the 36 yard line. I believe that spot's a hair short of it. Let's see. I thought it was closer to the 36 yeah. than what they got. Right. When is his knee down? It's so hard to see in all of this. Looks like he's, he's on, on bodies, top right? of bodies. Yeah. And the ball comes out there, but it was definitely more than a half a yard. Money time this second half. Buffalo has clearly outplayed Miami. Designed Allen run. Got to stay in bounds. And he gets down just in time to do that. And that will run the clock down to 2.13 before the next Buffalo stat on third down. This was a play two plays ago. Allen's left hand went out of bounds before a body part went down. He should have been out of bounds and stopped the clock. Now, that was really close. It was a bang-bang play as it was happening. They wound the clock. You wonder why Miami didn't challenge. They couldn't. They had no timeouts remaining. So they could not challenge to go back and look at that.